What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Brandon and I are down at the local river. And this is the first time that we are hopefully gonna be filming and posting a video for you guys out on the Wisconsin River. Now, I did fish this river stretch about a week ago with my dad. And we did pretty good. Didn't bring the camera just because it was the first time out. But as you can tell, turn around, we got Brandon. He backed in the boat for me and uh we're the only boats down here really so we got the whole river stretch the lund is looking absolutely gorgeous now the thing about the wisconsin river is it's the wisconsin river it is not the fox it is not the bay it's not up north it's the wisconsin so yes there are a ton of walleyes but finding size is going to be a challenge now we have had some good days out here hopefully today can be one of those days as you can tell we're bundled up again even though it is mid-april because it is 35 degrees out here and mother nature has no idea what she's doing but that's not stopping us from getting down here filming a video trying to catch some walleye so i'm gonna get in the boat here quick Ugh. and we're going to uh start driving to our first spot we're going to get the side imaging we're going to show you guys exactly how we're going to be finding these fish today and hopefully we pound them so stay tuned if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys are subscribed we bring a ton of walleye fishing spring uh winter is our specialty but walleye fishing in general we do a lot of so if you guys like that make sure you guys are subscribed like the video let's get it started all right you guys so we just got to the first spot down here and we decided to go all the way up by the dam now the last couple days the river has gone up a lot we've gotten a ton of rain and we actually have a flooding warning going on right now so the dams are pushing a ton of water through now normally that's not a great thing but what it is good for is that you can get really good slack water pockets now that's exactly what we're fishing right now is we got the main flow from the dam to the left of us here and then we are just tucked up anywhere from three to seven feet of water just on a gravelly flat and these fish are stacked up in here you can see from the side imaging right now all the fish and basically what we're going to be doing is just taking our jigs and we're going to be casting out as far as we can and just dragging them hopping them back off the bottom back to the boat and hoping to get bit so that's kind of the game plan nothing too crazy but when you're on the wisconsin you got to kind of just you got to go back to your roots jigging minnow is a huge staple down here jigging plastic is also really big so that's probably the two techniques we're going to do so see if we can get after it Sharp little pops off the bottom, came up and crushed it. That one decided he was fully invested, ready for lunch. Little guy, probably about 13, 14 inches. Very common, as Nick was explaining earlier, size is difficult down here. You gotta weed through some of the smaller ones. That's the first one of the day. Not a bad one, good way to start. Jigging a minnow, using green jig with a little piece of Mr. Twister plastic on there. Gotta rehook that minnow, we're gonna get it back out there. And Nick is hooked up. How's it feel? So since the last time we were down here, I had 40 degree, almost 41 degrees. Today we show up, 34 degree water temp. And that one's a little smaller than Brandon's, but the average Wisconsin River walleye, central Wisconsin River walleye, I should say. This is pretty much, I mean, you could catch 50 of these guys depending on the day, but every now and again, you will get into some females. And we just got here, we just got to the spot. We'll talk a little bit more in a little bit here, but we just got to the spot and we're already catching fish. Side of the boat got tapped on my last time coming in. I think that's the exact same fish. Never know, they're stacked in here. Another decent one. That one 
It's actually probably keeper size. I'm gonna say it's right around 16, maybe 16 and a half. Let's grab the bump for it, huh? Let's go ahead and see. Will she eat? She'll eat. She'll 16 eat. 16 and a half. Look at that. Nice. Holy cow, I don't even believe it. Okay, well, that is fish number three or four for us so far. Again, not a giant, but perfect eater. Actually got a couple little gross on her there, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead, fill up the live well, toss this one in, first keeper of the day. We were thinking, it's been a little bit slow. Maybe we'll stay for a little bit longer, but we might head up towards another dam. We might relocate a little bit. The winds died down a little. We're gonna give this another shot, see if we can get into some more fish. If not, we might move here soon. Oh boy, first fish in the live well of the year. Oh. Looks good, besides that water though. Yeah, no, the water, the water's gross. <laughs> Very dirty water. Obviously, we got a lot of runoff. The dam is just cranking. We got a lot of water flow down here, so go ahead and close this up. That's nice to see. First, uh, yeah, first walleye, first fish at all in the live well of the year. That's that's pretty awesome. Well, like we said, we got our first keeper. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get him back out there and see if we can get some more. Well, Nick, you want to explain what's going on here? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm hooked into something very large. Very large. Wow, the rod bend. The old PC Fun Serpent rod is it's bad. It's workout right now. Yeah, I can't even get this fish near. We are fishing kind of, you know, a lot of current, but yeah, <laughs> this thing is big. I thought it was just on bottom and then all of a sudden it just goes, whoo, like screaming drag off. Whatever this is, it's massive. Wisconsin River, you really don't know what you could get. I highly doubt this is a walleye, but it, you never know. Could be a carp, could be a cat, could be a muskie, northern, walleye. Who knows? All I know is that my rod's bent. This is fun. <laughs> oh my god. I just don't want to lose the fish. I just want to see it at least at this point. Well, you can see I'm not hooked up anymore. That is because we had to set down the camera because we uh, got the fish right to the side of the boat and wanted to try to land the fish, obviously. And it's really hard when there's only two of us and we don't have the proper equipment right now to be able to net it and film at the same time. But fish came to the side. I'm not wearing my glasses. Brandon is wearing his polarized glasses. Said it was a sturgeon, probably what, 50 inches you'd say? Yeah, Maybe it was a little long. bigger. It was at least four foot. I don't know. It was huge, but it was a sturgeon, which wasn't one of the species I actually named that it could be, but that also is a very uh, valid option out here on the Wisconsin River. You do hook a lot of sturgeons. So that's what that was. It was still fun. I didn't get to see it myself, but it was right next to the boat. And uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind hooking to another one. It's not the target, but it's fun. Right to the boat. Right Ooh. under the boat. Like that. Oh, there's your average, 14 and a quarter probably. But what I've noticed, this guy's milking. I can't even believe it. Water temps, like I was saying earlier, right now we got 34.8. That is really, really cold. But if you got milking males, there's gotta be a female somewhere around here. Brandon and I are the only boat right now fishing this river, which I cannot even believe. Like I get, it's cold, right? But like, I figured some people would be out here still. But I guess they just, uh, they don't have it like what we have it, Brandon. This separates the boys from the men. I'm also using jig and minnow. I'm using an eighth ounce. Like I was saying, we are in slack water right now, right on a river current edge. The smaller size you can get away with is usually gonna be the best option, especially when it's like, colder water temps like what we're dealing with right now, you're gonna to wanna to try to downsize as much as you possibly can and still feel the bottom. So we're using eighth ounce, still dragging, still catching fish. I casted right into him. <laughs> Nothing. Nope. No 
net needed. Boat flip. Oh, Whoa, would lovely. you look at that? Holy cow, he's, he is going everywhere. Another walleye. Looks about the same size as the last one. Who would have thought? All cookie cutters, but hey, all the sun, they're starting to eat. Big sturge on the right, or on the left, or both sides. Oh my. Automatic right now, dude. Yeah, they're piled. We don't mind that at all. Another little guy, 13, maybe 13 and a half. Going back. We're just trying to find that big female because we know there's one in here. There's probably a lot in here, but we need that one that's right here in this area. We've got milk and males. We're gonna find that big girl soon. Like that, like that. <laughs> Automatic right now, this is crazy. Doubles, baby, doubles. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, about like yours. Maybe Whoa. a little bit bigger. Holy cow, we are on a school of walleye. Insane, I'll wait for you to get yours in. About the same size. <sighs> Pretty cookie cutter. Wow. Yeah, not bad. Look at that. <laughs> Wisconsin River. I can't stress enough. Ooh. You will catch so many cookie cutter sized walleyes. But when you get into them, it is fun still. I mean, yes, we've been fishing the bay and the fox all year long. And obviously that fishery is amazing. It is probably one of the best in the world uh, being around the Great Lakes. And you get spoiled. But it's still nice. This guy's still got his minnow in the mouth. I'll let him have it. Still nice to go to the local spots, catch fish, and uh, you know, you might even get a few keepers for a fish fry, which obviously in the fox in the bay, you can't keep them. So that's always nice. Fish are loaded. We're gonna get back to it. What's well, a few extra days? Oh yeah. Oh flips. Oh, look at that minnow score. Oh, Got the sure. minnow. <laughs> well, we're trying in the front of the boat. Same size wallet. Over on this side of the boat. You need a net. I do not oh, need a net. That could be close. That's close. 14 and three quarters, that's my guess. 14. Wow, <laughs> they're all the same. Check it out, before we got on the water today, we made a power move by going to Taco John's, which if you guys did not know, Taco John's is by far the best Mexican fast food place that you can go. So I'm sorry for all the people that like Taco Bell. I'm not sure what's going on with your taste buds, but maybe, no, maybe in your defense, you've just never had Taco John's before, but if you haven't, I would highly recommend it. Fishing right now has slowed down. That is why I'm taking out the tacos. Brandon's still giving her, but as you can tell, probably it is starting to get a little dark. Fishing has slowed down. We're probably gonna fish up until dark or maybe a little bit into it. Not really sure. Water's pretty murky, so maybe these fish, I don't know, with the low light, are having a hard time finding these jigs. But I don't know, either way, we're eating some tacos and hopefully gonna be finding some more fish real soon. Oh yeah. Might be a keeper. <laughs> Woo! Pretty cookie cutter, I would say. Ah, that's close. I'm gonna say that's probably like 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half. All right. There we go. We'll go ahead and, and I'm not even gonna bump it. That's. 14 and a half, I've caught enough of these today. Probably gonna be last fish of the night for us. But man, we had a good day out here. Honestly, we had a lot of fun. 
Um, Nick did actually hook into a really nice one off camera, but we lost it right at the boat. I'm gonna say it's probably like a 22, 23 inch walleye, I would guess. It's definitely a female, big and fat. That one I think actually might have been a female as well, but most of the ones we caught today were all males. They were all milking. Again, water temps are right around that like 34 to 35-ish range, depending on where you're fishing. We moved around a little bit today, but overall, this spot seemed to be the best. Slow rolling jigs on the bottom. Had a lot of fun out here. That's it right there. Northland tackle, eyeball jig. I had green, Nick had gold. Little piece of Mr. Twister and some live bait. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up. It's getting cold. We've been out here for like five hours at least, maybe longer. Time to go home and grab some dinner. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for us. We'd really appreciate that. It helps get our videos out there more when you guys leave us a like. If you're new to the channel, also hit that subscribe button. You're not gonna wanna miss what we have coming. We've got plenty of spring walleye fishing ahead this year it's going to be interesting. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for it. We've had some very cold temps here in Wisconsin. And to be honest with you, up north, we're not sure if the ice is gonna be off on opening day. So you're gonna to have to stay tuned for that. Again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. All the new guys, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.